The system works! Pickup is broken in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now I'm talking about the good kind of broken, not the broken that people expect with modern Pokemon games as in being bad. Look at this, I just got a shiny stone while also catching a pickup Pachirisu. We are snowballing into that late game and this is why. So the pickup table by Kafotix, data mine from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl shows us we have some nuttiness going on. Bottle caps, elixirs, and eh, not as crazy. Actually, I feel like with how hard the Elite Four rematch is, you're gonna want these at some point. Also, Lepa Berries and stuff, Max Revive, all the herbs, leftovers, Destiny Knot, PP Up, 5% chance to get PP Up, boys, uh, Max Potion, Nugget, Rare Candy, and then the rare evolution stones. Now the way that this table works is that we have level 91 to 100, 80, 70, 60. So I mean, when we catch any Pokemon in the underground after defeating the Elite Four, don't have national decks yet, gonna be getting that soon, stupid Drifloon shenanigans. Like that was a 4% chance and I got it from the Munchlax. So that just kind of shows why I'm doing this. The sooner, the better. If I'm building a pickup team, while having pickup Pokemon on my team, those Pokemon will be getting pickup items and I could just have a free bottle cap or a shiny stone or whatever else is going on. Also, we need to put that in the bag so that way as we're catching and encountering more Pokemon, we're just getting that stuff. And then I want to kind of take this to the next level, get synchronized Pokemon, get starter Pokemon, get other rare Pokemon. Well, that's only going to be great if we just have a pickup team at the ready. So... We're going to talk about what I'm doing here in a second when I get another example. Uh, you can just kind of go in and out to soft reset. Each area, or like, you know, each area in the underground has like a lot of different areas where Pokemon can spawn in, and there's a 50% chance that they'll spawn in that area. So you just gotta look around and see if it's filled in. And there we go, Pachirisu, one of the Pokemon that we are looking for, because that's when we just go to the pickup table. What do we got? Apom, Pachirisu, Ambipom, Munchlax. Cool thing is, all of those Pokemon can be found in this area, and I didn't even ch touch the controller. Pachirisu just came in right after me as we were doing that. That's what we call efficiency. This boy belongs on team. Hopefully. I believe the catch rate is decent, but not foolproof on the quick ball. Either way, we got it. So, I mean, see, we're loading up on the quick balls. You can just buy those at the Elite Four, so there we go. And we're going to see if it's pickup. That is like the thing. It's like, okay, cool. We just roll and see if we get pickup. If not, that's whatever. It is kind of a rare Pokemon. And depending on the statues that you have inside of your base, you can actually just make Munchlax, Pachirisu, or... I might, I'm actually almost getting to the point where I'll just like release uh, non-pickup ones. Because I've already gotten a couple. Apom, whatever, just runaways. But uh, yeah, so we can just keep going. Maybe there's an Apom here. Maybe there's another Pachirisu. If not, we just reset it. So now, let's go and transition over to the underground. Caves with the sand biome. So the Pokemon we just mentioned, Pachirisu, Apom, Munchlax, they're all here. So you can find them in this area. Actually, I think Munchlax is... Oh, that was a special Pokemon. Oh, there it is. Munchlax is right here. So after you get Defog, we're, we're well in the range. So if I had like more normal statues, it'd probably be really good for the Apom and the Munchlax, but that's fine. And then Pachirisu is just going to happen too. So I just put in all my electric and normal statues and I'm kind of hoping for the best right now. Ideally, I want pick up Apom because it's really easy to get Ambipom with it. And Ambipom is actually a competitive Pokemon, so it has good stats, which means if I have a team of you know, like three level 100 Ambipom, we're actually going to be able to do things with that team. Whereas like... I love 100 Munchlax, because once it evolves, Snorlax loses the pickup. That's not ideal. And Pachirisu is alright, but it's not going to be hard carrying games. So now we're just running back and forth. We're going to be resetting. And we caught that Pachirisu, so I didn't... Actually, we can check every time. So we go here and we see if we got items. Didn't get items at the time. And it's only going to snowball. As we get more pickup Pokemon, it's just going to get crazier. And this is the underground right now, but this is the best area, as I showed. This is the Sandy Biome. All the Pokemon spawns line up. We have the Diglett bonus going too, which gives us one extra Shiny roll. So one in 2,000 chance of getting a Shiny. Not that I like super care, but it would be interesting. And I am connected to the internet, just 
the internet in general. So other people are like getting the diglets up for me. But let's see uh, how these next couple of ones go. All right, so we finally got our Apom. Maybe this Pokemon's pretty rare. Like, in theory, I could spend an infinite amount of time or however many hours it takes to get just all pick up Ambipoms. I was also thinking they changed Apom or not Apom. They changed Pickup in modern Pokemon to where it picks up dropped items, and now the Elite Four has items. I'm thinking I might be able to steal Flint's Focus Sash if I can one-shot it with an Ambipom. But it actually has the pickup, so that's pretty good. And in theory, if we have like the pickup hatcheries and stuff, we could just kind of use that for pickup fodder as we get as we slowly replace them with Apoms. So things get kind of silly. Um we also can just kind of go and compare some of the Pokemon and how they look. Yeah, Pachirisu, not really competitive, mostly just there for the pickup. Um, surprised by the Munchlax, 85 attack. That's actually respectable. And then uh, 135 on hit points. No defense, though. I wonder, if, like, what we can do. It's like, can we go stockpile last resort? That sounds hilarious to me. Uh, maybe it gets them done. Uh, these are going to be TMs and TRs for Pokemon Sword and Shield. There's no elemental punches in this game. Yeah, I don't really see much that can be done here. Also, are the egg moves new? I did a Lucario video and I did not notice either. I'm tired or some kind of shenanigans going on, which really leaves us with the um, Ambipom. We need to make sure we have the double hit because I think that the way that Apom's learn set goes, we might not have the double hit on it and that gets replaced with the egg move. So we're going to have to relearn of that. So yeah, there's a chance to get an egg move. Bounce is pretty all right. Uh, last resort. That's a that's definitely a thing. And then we can see some stuff. So yeah, like I said, like double hit's gonna get replaced. So we need to get that for the ambipom. Not really gonna be too much of a problem. Uh hmm. Yeah, the ambipom theory craft does get a little sketchy. It does get thief. Like, we can just straight steal those off the Elite Four, right? Mr. Mime's got a light clay, I'm pretty sure, and there's a lot of just really screw you items on the Elite Four right now. Also, I wonder how that goes for the uh, rematches. So, Thief Last Resort, Sub Last Resort, that way you just go, go into the Last Resort for free safely. Need to get that Pokemon up to a high level to make it fine. But yeah, it's not like we can go work up or anything. Um, sub, X Attack, Last Resort probably one shots everything pp becomes a problem though so i should start planting lepa berries now it's really just about the preparation to get this uh save file going so yeah we'll see how that goes aha i found it um we got we got some stuff going on right here so i mean we can steal all kinds of crazy things it was the light clay muscle band Really? Oh, that makes... Wow. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Life Orb. If we can act... Yeah, imagine we roll up with six Thief Ambipom, and we just steal everything. That would be pretty hilarious. Yeah, there's a lot of Citrus Berries. Oh, that might be the next thing to test once we get set up in that. I don't think they would put any kind of restrictions in that. I thought that was like some kind of thing. It's like, oh yeah, one of the rare trainers that you can steal an item off of. You used to be able to do that in the past. So that's that's what we got a series, boys. We're gonna see how that ends up kicking up. We got we got some fun things to keep an eye on. Um, oh, I hit pause instead of uh, changing the screen over. Kind of getting ready to end the video, but I guess we might as well go all the way and get our six pickup team rolling. And we're gonna transition that into our next thing, which is gonna be synchronized. And then that's how we just kind of keep going from there. So next time I see you, it'll either be when I get a really sick item because it's already popping off, or when I finally have a full team of pickups, which could be like 30 minutes from now. But uh, this is why you this is why you follow Verlisify, guys. Leave a like, share with your friends, comment down below. There's a Munchlax. Prefer an Apom, but I guess we don't really have too much room to be super picky, you know. And eventually we'll get there. But yeah, like as we just have the pickup going as we start to get into this, then yo, yo, well, we, okay, we get, it goes full circle, guys. We get pickup to get synchronized, and then we all come back with just like adamant ambipalms just everywhere. Um, depending on how much more mining I do for shiny statues, 
get some like shiny normal statues therefore we increase the rate at which we get ambipalm nice on the quick balls and then it all really comes together i'm expecting low catch rate or maybe we just lucky oh man again this is this no one is going to set you up for success like me in the pokemon community they, they all frauds they all gotta pirate their game and hack they got no idea what they're doing i'm the one out here that actually understands pokemon because i'm passionate and i love just breaking games like this uh we get to see what we got no i oh wait we did get an item all right that's that's saved money when we go for the uh the other stuff the elite four because like we'll use revives it is pickup one more and alakazam is gone Oh, this is actually going to work out pretty well. Maybe it's not going to take 30 minutes. Maybe we just open this up and then there's an A-Palm right there waiting for us. You know you wanted it. You know that would have been just pretty cool. Would have made it all worth it. Uh, the other Pokemon are kind of spooky. Technically, I could fight them and start getting experience onto my pickup. <gasps> Pokemon. But we got the A-Palm. All right. This is how we do it, boys. Uh, the cool thing is Pachirisu is pretty good at uh, securing Pokemon encounters because, or like securing catching Pokemon. Apom has a pretty low catch rate, like the quick ball isn't foolproof. I think it's like a one in four chance or something. So we just come in and discharge and then there's a high chance of paralysis. So that makes it really easy. Yeah, that's what I expected. It's got nothing to fling. I wonder if there's a chance that they, they won't have um, an egg move, which makes it kind of easier on the double hit. But two, Apom, definitely going to set us up for success. And then Pachirisu, going to be potentially good for getting our uh, synchronized Pokemon set up. This is what I mean, just Discharge. Does, like, less than a third. Nasty Plot, I ain't no worried about that. Uh, that actually looks like spooky amount of damage. Like, that actually might KO, and I don't want to risk it. I wonder, like, Dust Ball just seems like it should work in the underground. Like, we're underground. This area is a cave. Confirmed? Cool. Please be pickup. If I get another runaway, I'm gonna be so sad. Like, we're just done. We're just done right here. I'm, I'm already just ahead in the game, and I love it. No items. That's also, like, the kind of tedious thing. We're just like, oh, yeah, we gotta check the items every time. Uh, one of these is run away, run away, run away. We got fake out, damn fake. Actually, yo, if we catch like an adamant fake out last resort, just natural ambipalm. Oh, that'd be so, that'd be so good. But we ain't there yet, so got some more resetting to do. And there we go, our last pickup a palm, and we also got a. I could have sworn I saw a Max Revive on one of these Pokemon. Yeah, it shows... Okay, so it doesn't show in the box, but it shows right there. Weird. Put that in the bag. GG easy. Pickup squad about to roll out. Um, I think that's, that's going to be it for now. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Hope you guys got a little excited, a little expired. Thank you very much for watching.